Hello, this is a short video on solar calculations uh, using IES. Now I have to just say at the start of this video that it's a whistle stop tour. It's not very in-depth. I'm going to be going through some things quite fast. This uh, video uh, tutorial is aimed specifically at one student that I'm helping at the moment. And if I get a chance later on, I will record a kind of a cleaner version of this that goes through things in a little bit more detail. So bear with me if you think this video is not up to the usual standard of the CAD and stuff uh, website. So what we have here is a basic model. And if I go into model viewer, you can see here that we have uh, two prism rooms, one sitting on top of the other uh, at an oblique angle like this. So that's the geometry that we've got to work with. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to have a look at the Suncast application to run some solar shading analysis. So I'm selecting the Suncast application over here. I'm going to make sure my application is set in the correct um, location. So I'm going to come down to the Apache simulation application here for a second and up to the App Locate uh, button, which is this one here. And in this, I'm going to select my weather file and the location of my site. Now, I've already done this, so it's in the correct location, but to change it from the default, you would click on Wizard and select the location. Mine is Europe, Ireland, based at Connacht Airport, and go OK. Uh, next, I will accept the default design weather source and then click on Acquire Design Weather. Okay, and I go next. Now this is important, you make sure that the Apache simulation is using the weather file from nearest to site. So you just click on nearest to site and finish. Okay, we can close that down now. So we've got the correct location. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can see it says Connacht Airport as the location. Back into the Suncast application now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a solar shading calculation. So it's this button up here, little yellow cube with the thermometer beside it, click on there. Um, if you want to run it for the whole year, you would select your January to December. And that's fine, we'll go with that. And uh, we'll just go start. This is quite a quick simulation, so you can see it's running through quite fast there. Now we don't need to look in any level of detail at the numbers that we're seeing at this stage here. We've just got the, sim the simulation done in the background. What we need to do next is come into the Apache application and we need to run the Apache simulation with this button down here. And this is the important one here, enable Suncast link. Okay, that must be selected. Again, depending on the time of the year you want to analyze, I'm gonna go for the full year. So 1st of January to 31st of December, but you can narrow that down if you just want to look at the summer months. Uh, simulation options, uh, we'll take the defaults for that. And output options, I want to basically have everything selected here. And I also want to have both rooms selected. So I'm clicking on room 00, I'm holding down the shift button and I'm clicking on room 0001 and OK. All right, I'm going to click the simulate button now. This should run reasonably quickly because the model itself is quite a simple model. There's no windows, there's no openings for ventilation. And basically what I'm trying to do here is just to get an idea of the solar radiation falling on the roof. So ultimately what this is going to be used for is uh, just a kind of a basic analysis to see how feasible uh, solar fo photovoltaic cells would be on this geometry of a building. So we're into the Vista module here now, which is where we look at the results. And I'm going to select this room. I'll go into my axiometric view here. I'm selecting this room, whoops, uh, first of all, I'll zoom in there. And what I can do is I can go down one level and I'm now looking at the uh, outer surface of the roof. And if I go down here to incidence of uh, solar power, um, internal or external surface, well, it's really the external surface I'm interested in because you know, I'm not gonna get much solar power on the inside of the room. Um, I can go to my synopsis here now. And here we have um, the maximum value in kilowatts is 63 at that half past two on the 15th of June. And we can have a look then at monthly totals here. 
So what we have, as you can expect on the internal ceiling, it's going to be zero. And what we have here in the external surface incident solar power in megawatt hours is 65.5805. That's over the course of the whole year. So there is um, 65.5 megawatt hours of solar radiation incident on that plane uh, per annum. If I go up one level, I can select this part of the building over here and then go down one level. And again, I want to look at the uh, roof. Might be easier if I select roof from over here. And again, I'm selecting the external surface incidence of solar power. And I'll go straight to my monthly totals here. And on this one here, we're getting 75 0.5 megawatt hours over the course of the year. So that gives you an indication of the solar power uh, incident uh, landing on that plane per year. Now to analyze that further into something like um, feasibility for photovoltaic cells, you would have to look at the efficiency of the cells themselves to uh, to decide whether they were worth investing in or not. But this is kind of the the energy that's landing on the roof that's not an indication of the energy that you may actually be able to uh, use from that total you're, you're going to lose some of that uh, through the inefficiency of the the installation itself okay so that's a really 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 quick run through on um how to go and get um some solar power uh, analysis basic enough solar power analysis um but given the time that I've got with this video, that's probably about as far as I can go uh, time-wise with this. So look, it's very basic, it's very quick. There's way more to it than that, but this is a good starting point.